last Wednesday I had like 11 drinks. It was pretty bad. Uh, I ended up sexting my ex girlfriend, his mother. Uh, <laughs> pretty horrible things. Uh, so I'm feeling really down. Right? And uh, I'm on the nice at work and just haven't been doing so well there. My love life's been non existent. And uh, it's really hard to get out of bed in the morning, to be honest with you. Hey, uh, let's focus on the positive. Did anything good happen in the last week? Uh, I did happen to catch a baseball game the other day. Oh, baseball game? How was that for you? Oh, you know, it's a decent distraction from my horrible life. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Let's, let's focus on the baseball game. <laughs> okay, it really wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, I went to a baseball game with a buddy of mine. Actually, it's Kind of where my relapse started. Right, sure. Relapse. Who was pitching? <laughs> I, I don't know. But the weather was nice, though. Uh, yeah. It was last Wednesday, so you know it was, it was a it's a hot one, but it's beautiful, you know. Oh, I used to. Once upon a time. Right. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, it was it was a beautiful day. You know, they're having some beers with my buddy Ray, and I'm thinking, you know, I shouldn't be doing this. Did you have anything to eat at the baseball game? Yeah, uh, nachos. Oh, nachos! Who doesn't like nachos every once in a while? A few ice cold beers at the baseball game, right? Uh, okay. Wow, I, I didn't think he's saying that right now. I, I was about to say how I thought my buddy Ray was a neighbor. And I was, do they use the already liquid juice at the ballpark? Uh, yeah, it's not that great. Yeah, maybe not that great to someone who spends all his time at baseball games. I don't spend all my time at baseball games. Tell me more about these nachos. <laughs> Listen, man, you're like really focusing on this baseball game. And, like, nachos. Like, <laughs> like, I think we've gotten way off track. No, no, the baseball game is very relevant. The nachos are very relevant. It's all connected. It's all there. Your alcoholism, your depression, your issues with your friend Ray. I'm going somewhere with this. Okay, so so you were listening. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So like I was saying, you know, my buddy Ray is kind of like the best friend I have, and it's just it's just really hard to say no to him. I just don't feel like talking about feelings right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I pay you for. So you don't seem like you're too into this today. I got somewhere to be, so why don't we just cut this session short? Oh? Where do you have to be? Nowhere. Where are you going, James? <laughs> Out. To the ball game. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, I'm going with Ray. Oh? Be the enabler. Does that seem wise? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should go with somebody else. <laughs> Maybe hey, someone else, you know, maybe like uh, an ex-girlfriend or ex-girlfriend's mom. Huh? Maybe a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to the baseball game? Yes, yes, I want to go to the baseball game. I want nachos and beer and fun. Hey, cancel the rest of my appointment for the day. First round's on me. Seriously? <laughs> Katie! Stop! What did we 
talk about in rehearsal. I say the cue line. You play the thunder sound clip. Then you flash the lights and hey, what color is this even? I wanted an ambiance. Yeah, might be. She program crashed and with the computer. I'll take a look at that light. Why did I buy all those extra hard drives? Why is everything crashing? What kind of super layer is it if nothing fucking works? I'm sorry. You rehearsed that speech that wasn't off the cup? <laughs> it was my dream to kill you and destroy Myronville. And I wanted this moment to be perfect. And that's why I got my AV person, Katie. She came highly recommended. And so far, she has yet to live up to all the hype. Come on, man. I'm doing the best with what I got. Zip and Katie! You're, it's, you're saying you rehearsed that speech. And the best you could have done was catch lightning in a bottle? <laughs> Told you that line was pretty lame. <laughs> Keep that up and I won't fund your community theater, you blabber about! You were going to fund the community theater? <laughs> you didn't pay me person, that was a price. Besides, it's a good tax write up. What kind of supervillain pays taxes? <laughs> a world renowned supervillain! I'm not going to go down on a technicality. Not like tax evader. Man, that's a stupid supervillain name. All right, Katie, are we good to go? All love. Wait. <sighs> Wait. I'm not feeling it. Uh, we need to cut the second act. Uh, I feel like my blood sugar is dipping. I, I need to have something to eat. <laughs> oh, come on. That wasn't even the right cue. Good to go. Blood sugar. I told you I wasn't going to drink it unless you were there. 
to go rescue his wife from a deep and intimate shame. Isn't it getting <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes, there. Oh, that is a pile. Oh my goodness, there is so much thirsting. Oh, I must go. Yes. Ah, ah, ah.
also hooked this room. <laughs> book it! Book it for what? Book club. Oh, uh, he's right. Their name's on the sign up sheet too. Is it double booked? Yeah, look, we, we both booked the room in the library closes in about an hour, so I suggest we make the best of it. Fine! We'll share it! <laughs> Great, this is perfect. <laughs> Funny story, you're not gonna believe this. Tonight's book is the book Fight Club. What? <laughs> <laughs> it great. We'll be able to mess this wonderfully. No! We do not talk about it! First rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club! <laughs> the first rule of Book Club is we're going to talk about Fight Club. <laughs> 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 no! The second rule of book club is really talk about Fight Club. You really want to discuss the word? Oh, we went over this at our last meeting. Read in the notes. The Fight Club minutes from March 19th. It was unanimously decided. Okay, right there, right there, right there. You're talking about Fight Club. You're literally talking about Fight Club. You're breaking your own rule. Do not count. <laughs> well, it sounds like you're talking about. It. We're not. Not what? Talking about. It. Talking about what? Fight Club. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> we're going to discuss the characters of our <laughs> no, it doesn't! No, you wouldn't! Alright! Fine, we'll talk about fight! <laughs> You're not supposed to say it. Fine, we'll talk about and book club at the same time! Uh, Alright! Let's go over the third rule of if somebody will stop, goes lame, taps out, the fight is over! Well, the third rule of book club is if someone yells stop, keep going even stronger. Well, the book club does sound fun. Shut up, Bob! I still would like to hit it, fellow. Quiet! <laughs> <laughs> All right, the fourth rule is two fighters at a time. Our fourth rule is everybody at the same time. Visual, one fight at a time! As many at once! No shirt, no shoes! Everybody in suits! <laughs> Final rule! If this is your first time, you have to fight! <laughs>
back. You can be sure there will be no chill in my Netflix and chill. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
They point out every single Montessori school we pass, <laughs> all the children's museums, and just last week they rerouted my GPS and I ended up in a kids are us parking lot. We got you something. Is it another unfertilized egg? You didn't use it last time. <laughs> Thanks, Drake. You have my number if you 
Change your mind. Phones don't work, Drake. <laughs> and even if they did, no. <laughs> All right, let's check in on traffic with our eye in the sky, Gary Twinbush. Gary? Hi, Bert. Coming to you live from Chopper 22. Once again, there's no traffic, dude. Due to the fact there's no roads, cars, or, or people. Good news for you commuters, am I right? Yeah. It's all gone, Bert. It's all, it's all gone. Can I come back inside now? You know what you did. <laughs> Bert, you're a monster. Bert? Thanks, Gary. Uh, now, a quick break from our commercial sponsor, Eminent Death. <laughs> Eminent Death. It's coming. End of story. <laughs> and after the break, we'll break down the area's viable breeders. Spoiler alert, Bert Foreman is at one. <laughs> okay. Take care of yourselves. 